On this week's World of Saltwater Fishing, I'll have the shallow water mark down off a of cudjo in the lower Florida Keys. Yeah, pick it short, pick it short. Oh, Andrew. I'll be with Captain Andrew Tipler, and we chasing a variety of light tackle game fish in the backcountry. Nice fish. He doesn't even know he's hooked yet. Now he does. And just around the ocean side, Flats. I'm losing fast. All right, going after him. Do not miss this episode. Ooh, Ooh look at him biting at the water. I know, you made him very angry. <laughs> George Poveromo's World of Saltwater Fishing, where big fish don't stand a chance. The Cudjo area of the lower Florida Keys is definitely a sleepy area when it comes to fishing. We all know how great the dolphin fishing could be out here, the reef fishing for yellowtails can be spectacular, and of course you have the backcountry wrecks where you have permit, cobia, mangrove snapper, and a lot of other varieties. As I trailer the shallow water mark to the Cudjo Gardens Marina, and backed it down the ramp to launch, I had a certain excitement come over me. It was gonna be a different trip. I was gonna do some of the near shore light tackle backcountry fishing with Captain Andrew Tipler. So when George and I had gotten to talk about doing a fall trip, um, I had wanted to showcase some of the other things we have down here, the backcountry waters, the inshore stuff, which is a real passion of mine. It was November. Andrew said, come on down, let's do some light tackle fishing for anything from permit, tarpon, barracudas, sharks. A lot of things are going on this time of the year and we can experience both the ocean side as well as some of the backcountry environments. The fishing that we kind of set up for this trip, since the waters were a little warmer, was more of just kind of a sampling of our inshore waters. We wanted to hit a bunch of different things, try some different stuff, go after some of these elusive fish, some of these really challenging to catch species, but also mix it up with a little bit of action, just some fun bender rod fishing. Andrew and I had a discussion on what to go after first. This was gonna be a very tide dependent trip in that he knew certain areas where these game fish would be based on certain tidal stages. You have to have a strategy when going after these species. There's a timing for each one and uh, so the permit popped up right on cue, just like they were supposed to. Um, and George spotted one out pretty good ways and made a spot on cast to it, and we were on to our first permit. Good, you spotted him. I saw it, that big silver platter. You just felt it and wound on it. Look at that. Beauty, He's not the big guy I saw. He's kind of more mid-range, but. I got 10 pounds, there's only so much I could do to this. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep standing behind you okay. going, duh dum duh dum Put, put some spurs to him if <laughs> possible. I am, I know you had the sharks around here, so I'm doing best, but like I said, 10 pound test. I only do so much, Andrew. If you feel him get freaked out, let me know. Okay. Might have to come around. Oh, we turned him, we're doing a good job with him. So I've been down here in the Lower Keys guiding for around 15 years. Um, and I kind of started out with the flats and then went to the offshore. Now I've kind of settled in this middle zone. I run the bay boat style trips a lot. Um, they allow you to kind of access all our different fisheries. And that's something I try to do is be versatile. We're not the best place for bonefish, but we have them. We're not the best place for sailfish, but we have them. And one of the things we really truly are famous for here in the Lower Keys are permit. Uh, we have some of the biggest permit in the world. And if you want to target them on the inshore waters, um, in the shallows. It's a spectacular fish. It's not an easy one. You have to work hard for these fish in the shallows, um, but it's, it's something worth targeting. He's not a small permit by no. any stretch of the imagination. He's stretching me out for sure. Look at him near the top. Look at him near the top. <laughs> he's up floating. Yeah, he's so floating right close. here. I'll, I'll, I need this guy in the boat next. I, I'm really getting nervous. I'm really getting nervous. I'm gonna crack him around here, Andrew. Here he goes. Ah, oh, he's going deep. I don't want him to do that. I also don't like that blue runner. I don't either. Line. It's only 10 pound test, as you keep saying. I can only do yeah, so much. made a fish so much. strong. Got him. Got him. I know. Oh. Is he getting freaked out? He's running his yeah, the shark, 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 shark. shark. He, the shark is on him. That here, wasn't here. the big one either. 
George Pavaromo's World of Saltwater Fishing is brought to you by Pen. Let the battle begin. Mako, the perfect predator. Bass Pro Shops at Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Mercury Marine, go boldly. We'll be right back. Did you get the freaks out? Yeah, pink and short, pink and short. I'm off Cudjo in the lower Florida Keys, targeting permit with Andrew Tipler. Now, the battle is over. Who wants this permit more? Me or the bull sharks? Let's save this thing. Here he is. Got her legal release. He's on the leader. As we finally get the fish near the boat, I hear Andrew just freak out. There's a shark. I look down at the water, and there's not one, but two huge bull sharks. And now, they're right on the tail of my permit. Oh, Andrew, come back here. And I knew the sharks were in that channel. I knew we were at risk, and those are, those are hard fish to land without the threat of a shark. So that last little bit of the fight, the fish just came right up to us. I guess he figured he'd better take his chances with us over the, over the sharks. Nice one, sir. This is, too, this is like, you got everything going against you. You got a, a fish like the permit, that big giant big bull, bull shark, shark on him. But somehow, some way, we made it happen, didn't we? We did, we did. Nice job. It's, uh, <laughs> it's my favorite fish, yet it seems like every time I go fishing with you, you get to catch the permit, and I get to land your permit. Well, I thought, well, well, I, that you got the permit in the last trip in the Gulf, weren't it you? No, it was me? All right, well. I lost mine. I'll take the credit. We got our target fish right off the bat. A beautiful permit, light tackle. I, I, I'm just getting so overly excited talking about that catch. Uh, released it, permit swam away, and uh, it was a good day for the permit and us so far. There you go. And he'll probably stay under the boat for a minute. Yeah. Did you, I mean, what were the odds of surviving those two <laughs> sharks well, that were on them? That's why you were fighting him. I kept going, da dum, da dum. And fortunately, it, it turned and started coming to us. And I cranked up, there's a shark still trying to swim around the boat. Like, here's the leader, Andrew grabbed this thing, same from the sharks, called us a catch and a remarkable one at that considering the uh, elements and everything, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. And what usually happens when those sharks move in and you fight a permit, the permit really get leery, they back off, they don't seem to come up and we never got another shot. But you know what? Onward for our next challenge. The Lower Keys backcountry has year round fishing. You know, bonefish, tarpon permit in summer. We've got the barracudas, the jacks, the snapper, the mackerel, the bluefish in the wintertime. And when you get into these fall time periods, you get this little bit of an overlap where you don't have as many of any one species, but you get some of the winter species and some of the summer species in at the same period of time. The beauty of these flats is that the life forms that exist here. Again, you're talking waters that are less than three feet deep. You have big barracudas moving in, and you see in the distance these lemon sharks. You see the fins out of the water as they're slowly meandering across the tops of these flats, looking to feed. It, it not only is it pretty breathtaking to sit and watch, but if you ever get close enough to make a cast and catch one of them in shallow and experience the runs, it's just a sensational fishery, and it's uh, pretty cool to see this uh, behind the Kudjo area. So if you look up here in front of us, you see where the white sand yes. is to the dark edge? We want to pay extra attention working that little edge there. Okay. We wanted to do a little cuda fishing in the backcountry on this trip to kind of showcase the comeback the barracudas have made. Ooh, there we go, boys. He's on. Nice fish. He's all he over it, wasn't he? Hadn't he hadn't realized he's hooked he yet. He doesn't even know he's hooked yet. Now he does. Beautiful, I love that wrap -off. This guy got to go to the back for this one, huh? This is where the barracuda are absolutely their best in these shallow waters oh, yeah. where they could give it all. You, you get all the like pluses out of them. You know, if you're out on the reef and they're eating your yellowtail, it's a whole different animal. I know, right? And one of the reasons I really like to put some emphasis on the kudas is because they're just now coming back. I mean, the numbers really dropped when they started commercial fishing them. Yes. But now that they've implemented regulations on them, um, they're they're really coming back enough that here we are in 80 degree water and you know you, you've had what four or five fish follow right out of the gate here. Come out with a light tackle and artificial lures. Yeah. Coming around. There's your cuda. Like there we cuda. go. 
So I'm just going to try to get them under the gills here. That's fine. I want them to be nice and tired just before. One good thing about that plug is two single hooks, there's no trebles. Oh, nice. Oh, very, very good. Cool. And you know, we did this without wire, and it's, it's risky. You are going to lose the occasional lure. But the thing I like about having no wire is you get a chance to throw it at other stuff. If you see a tarpon come by, you see jacks, yep. you've got no wire in the way, plus the wire kills the action of the lures. So. Does, and check that, not even a nick above it. It'd be yeah. beat up on the plug a little bit. But those teeth there. Did a cool. good job for us. Nice, nice, All nice. All right, and you go back, grow bigger. And he's wondering, that had been one of the craziest he was ready. mullet baits I've eaten in a long, a, long, long a time. A slimy handshake. Yeah, I knew you are going to. And he can't wash that stuff <laughs> off either. Thank you. I'll get even with you, Andrew. Yeah. When you look at this area at the lower Florida Keys, Cudjo in particular, just up the road in Little Torch Key, there is a resort called Palmer's. If you're looking for that old Florida feel, this is the place that you want to stay. It sprawls out over around five acres. It's a very comfortable place to vacation, and in our case, to fish out of. And if you do bring a small boat, and you're gonna be fishing those particular waters, you have these little lagoons right by your room that you could dock your boat up. So how convenient is that, that you could walk out of your own room, load your tackle on the boat, and go from there. And you're in a very productive channel itself that accesses way into the Gulf, as well as the Atlantic side. Palmer's also offers paddle boats. They have kayak rentals paddle boards, and they have a 90-foot beach, which is excellent for coming at the end of the day and just relaxing with a cold drink. They have a pool. It's a very family-oriented, family-friendly property. So if you're down in this area, fishing, looking for a place to stay, make sure you check out Palmer's. It's an awesome place. So after uh, filming, we got an opportunity to go to the Square Grouper, which is one of my favorite restaurants here in the Lower Keys. Their seafood here is remarkable. We took the crew to dinner one evening, and the menu that we had really varied from fresh caught triple tail, which was the fresh catch that day, to steaks of all kind. The appetizers, everything is just magnificent here, and, and there's no doubt in the world why they stay so incredibly busy. When you put in a good restaurant with excellent food, excellent service, it's going to be a winner, and that they certainly are. George Pofferobo's World of Saltwater Fishing is brought to you by Simred and the new MSS Evo 3 display. Go with Simred and go with confidence. Wrap on a coastal, another great day. Suffix, always use the best line. ACR, the leader in marine safety electronics. We'll be right back. Andrew Tipler and I are heading back to the permit spot. Rough Cudjo in the lower Florida Keys. Our trip ended up going full circle in that the following day, we came back to the permit spot in the channel at the right tide, hoping to catch one more fish. So the last time George and I got together and fished, George got the permit on that trip as well. Now permit is my favorite fish and I got stuck with the giant bull shark. So this trip, I wanted to hook George up with one of those bull sharks. Uh oh, what do you got going back there? <laughs> what you want me to have going on back here? It's exactly you that. Than me, I think. These guys are monsters. They're backbreakers. It's a hard, hard fight, and I wanted him to sweat on this one. Well, like, let's get a look at this thing first, huh? I got my money on big nurse shark. All right. I see, so you're down there, what is it? See it? Yeah. Nurse. A nurse? Okay. Well, George got off the hook easy on this one. He hooks this monster nurse shark, and in about five or 10 minutes, he was done fighting this fish. Oh. So the good news, he's hooked right in the lip. The bad news is you have to go down there and unhook him. I got gotcha. you. I caught the shark. Does that so mean I'm up on the you're neck? You're up next. So I, was you I was afraid so of that. I was afraid of that. You might as well get acclimated to this. <laughs> George's Tackle Locker brought to you by King Sailfish, the pioneer of catch and release mounts. Visit kingsailfish.com. Having a replica mount made of a special catch has evolved into a true art form. Credit that to King Sailfish mounts. Opposed to standard static appearing fish mounts, King Sailfish incorporates authentication into each Gamefish replica. That is, 
Downturned eyes give a much more lifelike appearance. Ditto with internal mouths, anal vents, flared gills, and any unique markings likes of cuts, tears, abrasions, etc. A perfect example of authentication and how it works is the permit I caught within this episode. A picture was taken right after it was pulled from the water as it was still lit up with remarkable colors. The image was forwarded to King Sailfish where their artist painstakingly duplicated those exact colors and patterns. I ended up with a remarkably lifelike permit mount I plan on giving to Andrew Tipler as a memento of our trip. Best yet, the actual permit was released to throw yet another angler. When it comes to quality fish replicas, King Sailfish Mounts is in a league all their own. Mercury Performance Stats, Cujo, Florida Keys Inshore. Power, Mercury 225 horsepower, four stroke outboard. Total miles traveled, 57. This is the cruise, 4,600 RPM. Speed, 38 miles per hour. Total fuel burned, 22 gallons. George Pofaromo's World of Saltwater Fishing is brought to you by Starbright, professional grade boat care products. The Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. Papa's Pilar Artesian Crafted Rum, never a spectator. King Sailfish, the pioneer of catch and release mounts. Visit kingsailfish.com. Is he taken? Yeah. yeah, that's the right one. See how fast he's going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andrew Tipler and I are fishing the skinny waters and channels surrounding Cudjo in the lower Florida Keys. And of course, pitch this Bonita out and immediately the bull shark turns on it. And now I'm stuck again with the bull shark. So George always seems to catch my permit and I always seem to get stuck with the big bull sharks. You, you take all the permit and hand me all the bull sharks. I didn't hand you that. You had to rod in your own <laughs> hand. You, you handed yourself the bull shark. Uh, we better go kind of quick. Oh, okay, he's, let's go he's after dumping it. He realized he was getting out in that shallower water. How far are you gaining? Gaining still, we're doing good. Slow down just a little. Go ahead, you got that cushion? Yeah, right here. Go ahead and do that while uh, I, I thought you at least asked us later in the game, Andrew. <laughs> I know what I'm in store for. I'm just going ahead and getting ready. I don't think we got the big one, but this isn't a small one. Uh -huh, that's fine. I'm going to watch you fight this thing against an incredible structure off to the side. Yeah, there's quite a bit out here. Woo. All right, I'm losing fast. All right, going after him. Go that speed there, that's good. You gaining? Yeah. Oh, boy, they get good, violent shakes, good. don't they? They can move that head three feet from side to side. Boy, he's making a turn. I don't have enough pressure to even turn his head. He is not leaving the bottom. Fight looks great from my vantage point. <laughs> well, this is what he gets for trying to eat my permit. I got leader coming up. There's your release. Let's go ahead and touch the leader. Check that out, Andrew. What a job, huh? Ooh, look at him biting at the water. I know, it's, a, it's an angry fish. You made him very angry. You got angry. gloves? I am, I'm ready. Check that haunt brood out. So the Lower Keys has a lot of opportunities for sharks in shallow water. Um, and each shark has its own kind of attitude or mannerisms. The black tips are the sports cars of the shark world. The lemon sharks, they're kind of the pickup truck. Well, the bull shark is like the semi. They're big, stocky, broad-shouldered fish and they can get you know turned from you and it's almost impossible to break their will. Get yourself your monster. Lift up just a little. Okay. All right, slack up. I'm so that glad I, I got that nurse shark. And you I, I bet you are. Yeah, light tackle. I'm here, light that, tackle. That's a, that's a lot of fish on a little rock. It is. So we have a lot of different things for non-angling families or people visiting the Lower Keys here. So the Lower Keys is kind of like the off the beaten path section of the Keys. We're a little quieter. Um, you're close enough to have all the uh, uh, amenities of Key West, but you're not down in the middle of it all. And it's a very family friendly area here. Um, obviously, being on the water is one of the high points being in the Lower Keys. We've got phenomenal snorkeling and diving. So we have Lou Key Reef right off the uh, Lower Keys here, which is a really good spot, um, not only for diving, but for kind of 
uh, entry level snorkeling as well. It's a shallow reef so you can see a lot without being a really accomplished scuba diver. We also have a few local wrecks for those more technically savvy in the diving community. Just a few minutes up the road from here is Bay of Honda State Park and uh, it's one of the most beautiful beaches in the country. They always have gotten awards for their beaches and it's a natural beach down here um, and they've got kayaking and you can snorkel right there from the beach and it also happens to be a really good spot to do a little tarpon fishing in the springtime. All in all it was a great trip and it was really fun to be able to showcase the backcountry of the Keys here. Love all the diversity we have down here and we sampled a little bit of everything on this trip. As we put the shallow water mark on the trailer, the Cudjo Gardens Marina was a very successful trip. Maybe tough in some regards in that here we were in November. Had we a cooler November, the pilchers have been around, but between the artificial lures, live crabs, and uh, live shrimp and the soft plastics, we put together quite the light tackle trip. Fishing with Andrew is always fun and I can't wait to get together with him again uh, down the road and see if he can't catch a bull shark then as well. Another great trip to Cudjo in the lower Florida Keys. Follow George on social media. Visit georgepoveromo.com on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash george.poveromo on Instagram at georgepoveromo and watch his episodes on YouTube at georgepoveromo.tv.